Mission reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. You see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, boy. Let's talk about it, man. So, shocker, right? Yesterday, 24 hours ago, Hitman Holla and Geechee Gotti goes on social media and have a bunch of abundance of tweets, abundance of back and forths. Some of us are like, well, okay, we know there was a little riff. We expected this battle to come down at some time. But where did this all this come from all of a sudden? All of a sudden, Hitman Holland and Geechee Gotti was, 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 was going in this bag. And I made a blog, and the rest of us knew that something was brewing. Did I not say just yesterday in the blog, it would not surprise me if in the next 24 hours, we get an announcement that Hitman Holler and Geechee Gotti is going down. Now, here's the thing. I thought maybe it would, it would happen on bullpen because John John has a big card coming up in October. And also, when I went to the um, Mayor's thing in Atlanta, shout out to John John and Bad News again, when they had that going down, the mirror kind of made it sound like him and Holler and Geechee Gotti was a battle he wanted. Because if you remember now, they were both on stage when the mayor was talking, right? But credit to him and Holler, this is going to be on bags and bodies. Yes, bags and bodies. Okay. Now, here's the thing. The, the, Geechee said something interesting on Hip Hop is Real. When he, when he spoke about Hitman, he said, yo, dog, the stipulation is not up to me. It's up to Hitman Holler. Now, Mook, on the other hand, if you remember when Mook and Hitman was talking about their battling spaces and breaking down the percentages and should it be on bags and bodies and who should get this, I guess it was easier for Hitman to work with Geechee Gotti than it was Murder Mook. This is, this is, this is how it's, it's pertaining to me, how I'm looking at this. You know what I mean? So, we get an announcement. That we are getting this battle. We are here in November. In November, we're getting this battle. Right? Now, this is a November 9th, pardon me, November 9th in Atlanta. That is the actual date for Bags and Bodies main event, Hitman Holla and Geechee Gotti in ATL, right? This is, once again, like I said, this is the biggest battle in Bags and Bodies history. You know what I mean? Now, if you're not paying attention, the fourth quarter, I don't mean the four horsemen, the fourth quarter, we, this is when you start seeing blockbuster announcements. Trust me, we are going to start seeing some announcements, just at case in point right now, where September, October, November, December, the fourth quarter is when we start seeing a bunch of stuff. And here we have Hitman Holler and Geechee Gotti in November. Right? This is a big, big deal. Now, I understand Geechee Gotti. Now, I'll let you, sir. Well, before I let Geechee, let me just say this. How does Murder Mook feel right now? This is what I would like to know. Because look how I come around, though. Yes, they was talking about Hitman Holler and Murder Mook. Then Hitman Holler and Loaded Lux got turned up a little bit, right? Then Lux fell back because then Mook and, and the Hitman kind of heated up a little bit, right? For whatever, and Mook and Hitman, for whatever reason, they, I, guess, I guess they were not bullshitting when they said that they couldn't meet at the table, right? And how does he feel now that Geechee Gotti now has stepped in there? And, 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 and like I said yesterday, it's a, it's a, this is how we got to look at this battle, y'all. We all got love for Geechee. We don't want to see Geechee freestyle for 45 seconds to a minute. No, Geech, we don't want to see that, sir. If you're going to freestyle, fine. Here and there, sprinkle a rebuttal freestyle. We, we, we all for that. We are all for that. But not, no, Geechee. You cannot go in there and, 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 and go through the motions like you did more of one. No, sir. No. And let me, let me say this right now. 
Do I expect Geechee Gotti to go through the motions in this battle? I don't. I don't. Geechee Gotti will be playing himself if he walks into bags and bodies on November 9th and do not come with three fresh rounds of dope material. Because one thing I know about him and Holland, he's going to, well, he's all he don't, God, boy, stop all that. One thing we know about him and Holland, he's going to come prepared. He's not going to be going through the motions. He's not going to try to fight, uh, fight through a round. Geechee, you've done a lot of things in this culture, a lot of good in this culture, sir. Some people feel you're bored. Well, guess what? You can't be blood cop bored now, Bridget. You got one of the most electrifying Negroes to, to walk a stage in battle rap for damn near a decade. That's Hitman Holler. Hitman Holler, you ready for this? All the bullshit Geechee be doing, going through the motions and everything like in battles. He might have lost the Fonz. He might have lost the Marv 1. He might have lost the Lusso. And I saw a poll that still got Geechee Gotti as the favorite going into your battle. I'm just telling him out of what I saw. Take that for what it's worth, sir. Do you understand, do you understand the assignment, Geechee Gotti? You understand what this is, sir? This is Hitman Holler. You know what I mean? Is Hitman Holler actually, I mean, it's Bags and Bodies. I don't know if it's a, it's a sponsor there, I think. Power, whatever I think it is. Are they the ones? Who's paying Geechee Gotti? Is that an angle Hitman's going to have? I paid you for this bag. Is it going to be one of those? You know what I mean? And the prep time. Let's talk about the prep time for a second. Okay, we know Hitman Holler, for the most part, he probably has no battles lined up between now and November 9th. One thing we do know, Gichi Gotti's battling Miss Hustle on September 14th. Now, Gichi, let me tell you what, you might not care, but if you lose to Miss Hustle, then what's going to happen is this. If you're going to be the, you're going to be the underdog going to that battle. You might be the underdog going to the battle, even though Paul got you in it, but some people, might, some people still might have Hitman winning that battle because of the last performance past performances that you had, right? But if you lose to Miss Hustle, just know this, sir, that the culture is going to be looking, they're going to be, you know what I mean? They're going to they're gonna claim that you're going to lose that battle, sir. You feel me? Now, let's talk about counter writing. Counter writing. Is this one of the few battles that Hitman Holler might have to do a lot of counter writing in? Because let's be honest, since the 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 the, 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 the buckle him a verb, the back and forth a verb, and everything like that, does does he have to touch on on, on no subjects first before Gotti does? Because we know Gotti's gonna tap into one thing we know about Gucci Gotti. That brother's not gonna give two donkey nuts about nothing. He gonna say how he feel. One, one thing we know about Geechee, he going to say how he feel. Now, here's the thing, Geechee. You can't do what you did against Tay Rock when you had a dope first round, and then you you, put, you, you went back so much in that first round. That first round with Geechee Gotti against Tay Rock was a damn near classic. That was a knockout blow from Geechee Gotti. Gotti, you can't do that with Hitman. Can't, you cannot do that with Hitman Holler, sir. Okay? You can't do that, sir. Do you understand? Both of you gentlemen have to understand the assignment, Hitman Holler. There's an abundance of things that Geechee Gotti can say to you, sir. There's a lot of things he can say to you. And, and, at, at, when, and when Geechee wants to, the brother can be surgical. So you have to worry about in that first round or third round, is he going to start talking about certain things and get, get in, that, in that bag. A la third round, it gets easy to block captain. Maybe not that effective because he was talking, to, you know, whatever. And then Averb tweets out, I got something for you, God. He guarantees a 30. Now, I'm pretty sure Averb is going to be mentioned <laughs> throughout this battle. I'm pretty sure Geechee God is going to have bars for him. Um, Hitman might have bars for him and stuff like that. Um, I don't co-sign. I see what Verb is doing, tagging Nick Cannon again. I, pff, I'm sorry, Verb. I got to argue Bunko Wolf for that, sir. You know what I mean? Right down the timeline right now, he's talking about cinnamon. I, I, this situation with Averb and Hitman is just weird. And it's so weird for me, as a New York nigga, 
that watch these brothers come into the game together, representing St. Louis, representing one sound, representing one conglomerate, going against New York City, showing the bad rap culture that, hey, it ain't just New York and the West Coast that can rap. You don't get us mixed up with Chingy and Jay Quan and the rest of these niggas. And then we watch Hitman, Verb, Ice Pack, Remy D, be magic. All flourish. And to see these two brothers go through what they're going, it's just really weird to me. You know what I mean? But I am very much invested in Aver, I mean, excuse me, in Geechee Gotti and Hit Man Holla, November 9th, Atlanta, Bags and Bodies. I, I ain't picking a winner yet. I'm going to sit on it for a little bit. I will give y'all a winner. Don't worry. I'm going to give y'all a prediction. I'm going to give me a little bit. But this is got announced right now. And let's just see what it does, man. It's your boy, Three, man.